Hello my YouTube friends. I haven't posted a video for a long time, but I thought this was a topic worth posting on. Somebody has gotten their an eyebrow tattoo. So I'm going to take my glasses off so you all can have a look at this thing. Okay. Um, that's one eye. Ooh. And that's the other eye. Now I have to say I will insert at some point pictures of the before so that you can see what she was working with. Uh, I went with a specific idea. I wanted kind of thicker than normal, but not in your face. Now they were done last night, so although we can't see them with this lighting and whatever is shit in here, uh, they are um, rather red and they're a little bit swollen. So I went in last night, uh, yesterday evening at I think it was half five. The first thing she does is she maps out. You give her an idea of what you want. I showed her a picture of my dream brow and what she said to me was that because my face shape and the lady I showed her the picture of are completely different, it wouldn't, her brow wouldn't look the very same on me nor may, it might not suit me. So what she decided to do was to give me something very similar but tailored to my face shape. The girl I went to, her name is Natalia. I will post in the information bar below um, a connection to her Facebook page and anybody wanting to try this, to get this done, can do so. Right, when I went into her yesterday, the first thing she does is she discusses the, um, the shape that you want, bring a picture, makes life a lot easier and she'll tailor that to, to suit your face shape. It might not be the very same as your picture, but it will be a shape similar that is the suit for your face. Because there's no point in going in and getting Audrey Hepburn's brows if they're not going to suit you. You go, you're going to look like uh, Groucho Marx, you know what I mean? So anyway, I went in. She she maps out your face, draws lines all over you. And I looked like Groucho Marx. But it's just so she knows when she's measuring to make sure that everything's even. Like, they're perfectly even. Um, then she, you lie down and she goes in the first pass she does without any numbing cream and she says it'll hurt a bit because it's breaking the skin then you put the numbing cream on and wham bam thank you ma'am pain free but i have to admit this is called eyebrow powdering it is um from what i've read on google it lasts longer than um micro blading it works the same way, you're still making the little incisions in the skin, but you're implanting dots of colour into it. It's not a straight line like old fashioned tattooing. It's actually just little dots that are going to build up pigment on your brow. Now it heals the same way, but I have to say girls, this is pain free. Now maybe I have a high pain threshold. I suppose that's possible that I do, but I have to say in my opinion, it was just about the same as having your eyebrows tweezed with a set of tweezers. Okay, it's the same as getting this baby here. Hold on. Ding, 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 ding. And plucking two hairs at a time instead of one. You know, ching, 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 ching. Now, the aftercare on these, she tells me, they need, with this particular method, her opinion, and she's been doing it for a while. She's a lovely girl, her name is Natalia. She says, dry healing is your best man. So I do have a little bit of makeup on. I put nothing up on my forehead. I have a tiny bit of concealer on the inside of my eye to hide the black eyes. I've neutralizer underneath. I have a little bit of concealer around here and a little bit of um, highlight and lippy. I didn't put foundation on. I didn't use a powder brush on my face because I figured if I put powder here with a brush, some of it might get on the brows. So there was nothing go near them brows. I'll take the makeup off later on with a very thick cotton ball with a small amount of micellar water. Just where I've put the makeup and then where I haven't, I'll use the micellar water on another ball, but very lightly done so nothing drips down on my new, my new babies. So for two weeks I have to mind these like, like they're newborns. Also my friends, I got highlights in my hair which I am delighted with. I'm going to see if I can get us some decent light here. We're in my room and it's the den of iniquity. I'm not even going to, I'm going to stick my face in the camera because I really don't want you guys looking around this room. <laughs> now there's my highlights. 
I don't know what colour it is to be honest. But and they've gotten a better look at the brows too. They're still a little swelled. My eyes are still a little swelled. And but I'm so happy with them. Oh my god, compared to what was before, I was like I don't know. It was not good, my friends. And that's my makeup. It's very, very light. Very small amount. I know I can't wear a whole lot uh, for the next two weeks. And when you go back to her, I go back to her in about four weeks for a top up. And uh, we'll see how it goes after that. I am delighted with myself. Hey, new eyebrows. New eyebrows. And nowhere to go to celebrate. However, uh, I shall endeavour to keep you all updated. I am very happy with the results. I know that they're going to change and they're going to lighten. Well, she says they'll darken first and then they'll lighten. But I quite like them the way they are. So I hope when they finish settling, they're not too much different. I'm sure if they are, the top up will take care of that next month uh, and on, in December. And I'll update you all after the top up has healed to let you all know the final result and if I'm still as happy as a pig in shite. Okay, Mwah. au revoir my friends. Bye.